Let me make this disclaimer. Y'all are gonna be the first to hear about this story second. Y'all gonna be the second to hear about this story because I only told one other person because it was so embarrassing. I felt so stupid. <laughs> Hey y'all, how y'all doing? It's Days, I'm back with another YouTube video. I'm coming to y'all with something completely different today. I've never done this type of video before. Um, before we hop into this video, go ahead and give me a like, leave a comment of your choice. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see all my future videos. Turn on those post notifications as well so that you're notified every time I drop a video, okay? Cause I'm dropping these bangers and I'm really trying to be consistent with y'all, as y'all can tell. But back to what I was saying. Okay, y'all, let's hop right into the video. If you know Houston, you know the weather is very bipolar. I'ma just start with that, right? So, I'm in my car driving one day, you know. It was a nice day out, sunny, you know, regular degular type situation. I'm driving my car, I'm headed back home from running my errands, okay? So, randomly, it decides it wants to pour down rain. I'm already outside. I have to drive back home. You know, I'm driving, I'm driving, I'm driving. Certain parts of Houston are prone to getting flooded. Like if it's a little divot in the road or you know what I'm saying? If it's a slope down, you gotta drive through it. Me being me, I'm from Pennsylvania, I'm from Erie. I don't really know the protocol, what I'm supposed to do, you know? And I have a car, I don't have a truck that sits up high. My car sits pretty low, like whatever. So I drive through the water. Next thing I know, my freaking engine light turns on. Immediately, I'm nervous. Um, I'm kind of freaking out. My car is new at this point. Let me see when this review was that I left. Okay, yeah. So it was about two years ago that this all happened, right? So I'm freshly in Houston. I drive through this puddle to get back into my apartment. And that happens. Car is kind of brand new, basically brand new. Um, I'm like, dang, what the heck? Did I just mess my car up by driving through some water? Blah, 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 blah. So I'm freaking out, y'all. I'm freaking out. And I have a flight to catch the next day. So I go up to the parking garage. I park my car. You know, I'm trying to figure out some way I could fix, my, fix this situation. The next morning, I get picked up. My cousin takes me to the airport. And on my way there, I'm trying to figure out a way I can get a mobile mechanic to come by and to look at my car so that when I come back to Houston, I can have a car. I'll be able to come back, have my car ready mobile and just ready to be on the road. So I find somebody and mind you, I can't really take my time and do my proper research before I go ahead and do what I need to do. I mean, I could have, but I'm impatient and I just be wanting stuff to be done when I want it to be done. And that's my problem because that's how I got into this situation. So I found somebody, I'm going back and forth with them and they're telling me, okay, yeah, we could come out. We could help you out with your situation, blah, blah, blah. We just need $95 to diagnose your car and come out there, you know? I'm like, oh, okay, $95, ain't nothing. Cool, 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 bet. I don't know how this stuff works. I'm a whole girl. Not saying I'm supposed to be oblivious to this stuff, but I really don't know. I'm not from Houston. My cousin is the only family, family member I have out here, and he moved the same time as me. So he didn't have anybody to refer to me. So I'm just kind of going with the flow, winging it, doing what I can do. I go ahead and I zell the man $95, which was his price for his diagnosis. No, a couple days go by, or maybe it was the same day. I don't remember y'all, this happened two years ago. But all I remember is me being at my boyfriend's house um, in Atlanta, I went to go fly and see him. And uh, I get a text message from the guy that was supposed to do my diagnosis. He's like, okay. He gave me a whole rundown. It was like a whole list of problems that was wrong with my car. Me, that should have raised f red flags in my head. Like, mm, it should only be a problem. He needed $500 to do the repairs on my car, basically, y'all. And so, 
I'm a little bit skeptical, but at the same time, I'm like, dang, I really just want my car back. I don't want to have to come back to Houston and not have no car. I already gave them $95. I might as well let the same person fix it because if I go to a different mechanic, I'm pretty sure they're going to charge me a diagnosis fee or whatever. I don't know how this stuff go, y'all. I'm just, so what do I do? I send him $500 on Zelle. Days, are you for real, bro? Like, why would you even think that that was a smart thing to do? Like, I look back and I'm like very irritated with myself. <laughs> so, after I sent him the $500, I kid you not, I would like try to check in on my car, try to check in with the dude and be like, hey, um, just trying to check in on my car. Like, hey, how's it going? How long is it going to take to get fixed? Blah, 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 blah. Um, why is this man not responding to me? Now that he got my $500? Here, you gonna take another sharp turn. And over here, this is where you have me fucked up at. So he's not responding to me no more. Really? Oh, really? I don't know how long it went while I was texting him, but I could have swore it was like for a good week, maybe two weeks. I was really just like wanting a response out of this man. Like the first few days after sending it to him, I'm like wanting him to give me updates, you know. So I went out of my way. I was freaking myself out for one, stressing myself out for no reason. And then I went out of my way to spend an additional $600 on this person that I didn't even need to look at my car when I could have just took it up to the Hyundai dealership, the people that actually know what they're doing, the people that actually work with my car and they would have did that for me for free. It was it was crazy to me, you know? And that is only part one to the story. So we're gonna hop into something else because after I lost out on that $600, y'all, I was hurt, like my heart was broke. It's not a lot of money, but it is. To just throw it out like that, like, oh my gosh. You don't know what I could have bought with $600. If I knew that I was just about to waste $600 on something I didn't need to, I would have treated myself, you know? I would have got me a couple outfits, a couple pair of shoes, something. If I knew I was just about to throw $600 out, you know? I hate that for me. After I got my car fixed, there was this day, I went to the freaking mall and I go in, I shop a little bit, I come outside and it's this group of, not group, it was about two younger guys and one older guy. So, and this younger guy, he gonna stop me. Let me show you something real quick. Let me show you something real quick. The other younger guy was playing the game before I walked over there. He was acting like he was playing the game or whatever. Y'all gonna know what I'm talking about. I'm sure y'all, if y'all never saw this, I'm putting y'all on game right now. Don't be the next person to get got. I swear to God, when you go to big cities, they really be out here scamming and finessing. This is what they do for a living, it's crazy. So, the one dude, acting like he playing the game with old head, right, right, right? And then the other younger guy, he walks over to me and starts walking me to, the, to what they was doing. He was like, hey, I'm gonna give you this $20. Go ahead, if you flip over the right bottle cap, you know, you get this money or whatever. So I do it and I win a little $40. I'm like, oh, 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 I'm getting excited. You know, it's, I'm thinking it's just an easy come up. Maybe it's a blessing in disguise because I just lost out on $600. I don't know, I thought God was like, look it out. I thought this was my moment to get my money back. And then some, right? So that's happening. I flip it over, I got it right. He gave me the money. And then he was like, okay, play again. Bet your $40 and maybe you can make 80, blah, 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 blah. I do it. I get it right again. All right, at this point, I'm like, okay, well, this old ass man moving so slow, this is easy, I'm about to finesse. That's, that's what was going on in my head. Like, okay, yeah, let me go get some more money. So I'm like, okay, let me play real quick. I, want, I got more money. Can I do cash app? This is what I'm saying at this point, because they got me, right? So I'm like, can we do cash app, blah, blah, blah. Y'all, why was my phone about to die? And I'm fiending, I'm fiending way too hard. So I'm like, okay, do one of y'all got a charger, blah, 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 blah. Or, go or can I go to an ATM to get some cash, blah, 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 blah. I'm really like fiending hard because I wanted a quick come up. I just lost out on $600. I was trying to, I was trying to win a, a rack 
on me. I was trying to leave with a thousand dollars. That was my mindset, cause somebody just scammed me out of six hundred dollars. So I'm like, okay. So one of the younger guys, he was like, yeah, let's go into the um, go into the mall. They got an ATM. I go into the mall with this man, looking for an ATM. We can't find the ATM. So I'm like, what you got a charger or something? I could just charge my phone real quick, and you know, we could do it with Cash App. I go sit. <laughs> I go in the mall and I go charge my phone with his iPhone. I go charge my phone with his iPhone cord. They're waiting for me. He's waiting for me. My phone turns on, right? I go back outside. I'm ready to play the game. I'm ready to win my money and go home. Let's go. I'm back. What's up? So, y'all, kid you not. I went up there and I told them I wanted to bet a thousand dollars, whatever you call it, bet or put up a thousand dollars. I could die right now. This really happened, y'all. I go out there, I show them I got heat. Cause so if you ever run into these people, they be having these bottle caps and it's this fuzzy ball they keep under the bottle caps, right? And they just move it, and you gotta watch it, keep your eye on it, right? And so when they ready and they tell you to flip over one, the one you flip over is supposed to have the ball in it. If it don't, you lost your money, all right? That's how the game go. I should've explained that earlier, but yeah. So. It was my turn. And he will not let you go ahead and take your, take your pick until you show him that you really got the money. You can't go up there saying you got 500 and you only got $20 on you. You know you gotta show your money. So I showed him my cash app, like I showed him I got the money or whatever. And it's my time to do it. He do this little thing. He moving on, he moving on, he moving on. And now it was time to do it. It was time to pick the bottle cap. I had to pick my, you know what I'm saying? Pick my poison. <laughs> Y'all, I picked the wrong bottle cap. Almost shit my pants. You telling me I just lost a thousand dollars? Are you telling me I just lost a thousand dollars? In five minutes. After I lost six hundred dollars a week ago. Is that what's going on right now? I could tell you I was playing right now. I wish I could tell you this was a lie. I wish I could say that this story was made up. On my life, this happened. And I had to go home and deal with the fact that these three niggas all knew each other and they just finessed me because they knew I was gullible and, and I looked like easy prey. They really did that to me. Imagine that feeling. It was indescribable. I could not explain to nobody how that shit felt. <laughs> Cause who told me to go that hard? Who told me to put up a thousand dollars? I didn't say a hundred. I didn't say 200. I didn't even say 500. I wanted to put up a thousand dollars because I was just that eager to win back that $600 that I lost from dude. Oh my gosh. I ain't never took it all that big. That close together. I was hurt to the core. So moral to the story is, <laughs> if you are ever in a situation, girls mainly because it happens to guys. I'm not gonna say it don't, but it happens more to girls because they know that we're easily, we, we gullible. We easily fall for stuff. And they expect us to not be street smart. And obviously I was not in that situation. I did not know what was going on. I honestly thought that these three people just met, or at least the two young niggas, they knew each other in the old head. I thought they was like separate. They will really prey on you, make it seem like they don't, they don't know each other. Whole time, at the end of the night, 
they're all getting a portion out of that money that they scammed all these people for in that day. If I'm lying, I'm flying. If y'all go to Houston, Atlanta, probably other big cities, it goes down real bad out here. They scam it, they finesse it. This is their life. This is how they make their money. This is how they pay their bills. I kid you not. After I lost that thousand dollars, me thinking about it right now is, is making me mad. Cause I try to contact the dude. So it was, I use my cash app since I didn't have cash. Obviously the old man, he wanted cash. So I had to cash at one of the younger dudes and he gave me the thousand dollars in cash so I could put it up so I could bet it or whatever. Why would I, oh my God, I have so many questions. Why did I like let that happen? First of all, why would somebody go out of their way, bring me to a situation because they want me to make money so bad? Nobody wants you to make money. Well, how can I explain this? Nobody cares that much for you to make money. So the first red flag was, why is this man coming up to me to try to get me to play this game because I can make some money. Cause like, why do you care? I don't know you. Let me just go to my car, right? That's red flag right there. Red flag number two is, why would this nigga go into the mall with you to go to an ATM and give you his charger so you could charge your phone also you could play this game? Why does he care so much? Why? You know why now, because he's getting a cut. Thirdly, why is this random man, why does he have a thousand dollars in cash willing to give to you? And he, if he don't know this old man, why is he sitting here? I don't know how to get, I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to say. But like, at the end of the day, don't be finessed. Use your brain. Nobody want, nobody cares if you make money or not. People are all for themselves. So if somebody is, is going out of their way to try to get you to do something, they're gonna benefit from it, obviously. So let's think before <laughs> we get finessed. You know what I'm saying? Cause I cannot, Houston was doing me so dirty when I came here y'all. Like, like from the beginning, I'm happy it happened early on. So I don't let it happen no more. It's happened to me, what am I saying? The situation where I've had people come up to me like in groups, like while I'm outside and they try to get and It was like a group of guys, even a couple of girls be outside and the girl would come up to me like, hey, I just made such and such money off of this. Come play it, I don't know if you wanna make some easy money. Now I could peep it out every single time from the beginning. Like, nah, I'm good. I'm gonna walk away. And it was another girl that came up behind me and she stopped and she listening and she about to, she just hearing everything they got to say. She eating it up, she about to, uh, Go ahead, bet her little money off, lose her money. I'm gonna let you learn for yourself. I didn't say nothing, I just walked away. I already got God before. You not gonna listen to me until it happens to you. But yeah, I don't let that shit slide no more. It was actually both times it happened at the hair, at the, um, hair store. And the other time I actually saw the mother that was at the mall that did it to me. It wasn't the man doing the game, but it was the man that was in cahoots with the dude doing the game. Like the recruiter nigga. He was there with some other niggas. And he was talking to me like, hey, yo, come play this, da 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 da. And I just looked at him like, cause like I know you. And then I walk in the store, I do what I had to do. I come back out, they're gone. Cause they know they did so many people wrong. Like. 
They got guilty consciences. They got up out of here once they saw how I stared at them. Cause I'm like, I know you. That's the look I gave them like. I just feel like a weight has been lifted off my chest, y'all. I just put y'all all in my business. I didn't want to do it, but I feel like this is a great learning lesson for y'all. And it's probably entertaining to hear. I'm not going to lie. So I hope y'all had a good time listening to my <laughs> sad story. And yeah, don't forget to leave me a like, a comment, and I will see y'all next time.